So hello everybody, I am back. <laughs> you probably wonder like, where have you been? Yes, I know you've seen me all summer, but it's because I have recorded the videos, pre-recorded the videos, but I have been on holidays for a few weeks now. So I am back and I am back to work basically. So nice to be here again. Okay, I always, since the a few years back, start my videos with celebrating my MVP renewal and this time thankfully it's no different so here I have it the 2021 MVP award I'm not going to unbox it because you've seen this you see me doing it you've seen other people doing it no point of that here is the actual thing it's super neat okay so Getting this word and having been on vacation is always a good time to reflect about how the year has gone, what have I done right, what have I done wrong, what changes do I want to make, and I want to share some of my thoughts with you, basically. So when it comes to the things that I have done right, I'm really happy about the contributions for the 2021 year, not for the 1920 year. Uh, you know, when you are asking for a renewal of the MVP award, you actually have to have a detailed report of the contributions that you've made and uh, going through the list and sending that list to Tina, my community manager, I realized that I've done quite a lot. So very, very happy with that. I hope you guys are happy. I can see in the numbers that you like most of the content that I produce, not everything. We'll talk about that at the end. But I'm really happy that I've been able to maintain the three videos a week. I love doing that. I'm, you know, learning a lot while I'm doing it. And you tell me that you are also learning a lot. It's open opportunities for you. So it is fantastic. I mean, I couldn't ask for more, really. So that is great. When it comes to improvement possibilities, here's the thing. When, this is how I see at least the MVP program. There are two parts. It's the one that is that you see the community contributions that I don't to you guys, but there is also a contribution that you can do to Microsoft. So we have opportunities to connect to the product teams, to the developers that are doing the different features. And that is something that I am terrible, terrible, terrible about. And not so happy about it, to be honest. Um, I have the possibility to a lot of times, you know, to give feedback before features get released, and I am really bad doing that. And then when it get, actually gets released, and I'm preparing my video for you, I'm still like, oof, I would have liked this and that. And then that's when you see me reviewing things that I don't really enjoy. And I always get a little bit of pain in my stomach because I thought that I had an opportunity to give that feedback beforehand and I don't I haven't done it and now I'm here ranting about it after the fact you know and I always want to be honest with you about what I feel about the releases but I think it's a little bit unfair that I haven't done it before and just because I give feedback doesn't mean that the Power BI team is going to do anything about it but I would feel better if I would have been able to give the feedback beforehand so I'm not sure how I'm going to change that because I do not have a lot of time, you know, and most of the time I review the, the new features while I am shooting the video, which is probably not optimal, but that way, you know, you guys get my first impression. But n n that is not something that I'm very, very proud of. And I think that I should be better to interact, you know, with the Power BI team and the developers more. And not only that, I'm actually quite bad to engage in the Power BI community. I have, uh, I, it's just a matter, it's just time, you know. I I've, I've get uh, opportunities everywhere and because of time I have to say no most of the time. And it's, it, again, it's also I get a little bit of pain in my stomach, like poof. I really would like to contribute, I really would like to help, and it's not easy to say no, you know? So, I feel, always feel bad, you know, <laughs> which I shouldn't, I, I, but, but you can't help it, you want to help others, and I just have to 
you know, if I want to ha- be healthy and have free time and, you know, be able to, to continue sharing as much as I do with you, I have to say no to a lot of stuff. And uh, it is not easy, actually. How am I going to do it? I'm going to try to contribute a little bit more with the community for a period. And then I will have to continue saying no, because if I say yes to everything, I'm, it's not sustainable, basically. So if I say no, I'm sorry. It's most of the time, it's just I don't have the time for whatever reason. So th- those are the things that I wish I could do something about. I don't have a strict plan of how I'm going to improve, but I'll I'll try to make some changes in your house. I don't say no to everything. Um, the next thing is, you know, I mentioned in the video that you mostly like the videos I do. There are some types of videos that I can see they always, always get low ratings and those are the power query videos that I do on Mondays. I absolutely love power query. I think it's the best thing Microsoft has developed for data since Excel for sure. But I I have to face the facts and the fact is that you guys don't watch those videos nearly as much as anything else which basically tells me that you are not interested in them. And I know some of you are like me, and but most of you are not. And it feels a waste to create videos that you guys don't want to see, or just very few of you want to see. So I am going to, I was thinking actually to discontinue Power Query videos altogether. I'm changed my mind. I'm not not going to do that so if I have a power query trick video that I really think you should see like oh my gosh this those type of videos or those type of tricks I will do a video on it but I will not have a Monday dedicated on power query so Monday's videos will be about anything that I find that you guys should know or that I've learned that I think is cool basically if that is power query will be power query but it could be something else so for those of you that are power query lovers i'm sorry you know i've been doing power query videos probably every monday for four years and i was hoping that it would change because microsoft is putting power query everywhere it's not changing the numbers are low and they are getting lower and lower i don't know if because the other videos are getting higher and power query interest is the same uh it's it's just I want to make videos that you want to, guys want to watch. I will continue learning and yeah, once in a while I will create a power query video, obviously. So there's going to be a l- few more announcements, changes for next year that I'm really excited about. Too early to talk about them, I have to prepare things, but I'm going to continue posting on the Cripple Data Lab. So I'm, really looking forward to do that. I have to freeze some time so that it could be that maybe some Monday video does not get released so I get a Kerbal Data Lab video. I have a project there that I think you're going to love. We'll see. And uh, yeah, we we will do announcements as I get ready for them. You know, this year I have actually been on vacation and I have opened my computer twice and I close it almost as fast as I open it because my brain was like shut down. I really had a nice holiday. So couldn't be better, couldn't be better. I hope you had a nice holiday where you're having or going to have a nice holiday soon too. So yeah, the, the only thing that is left for this video is uh, here we have the MVP word. So, let's put the ring, shall we? So, this is for 2021. More Power BI videos, more Power Query videos, more DAX videos, and a lot of learning. Cheers to that.